Right. Welcome back. I'm going to show you a little hack how to improve your solder suckers. Okay. So this is a cheap solder suckers. I bought it for probably pounds, few pounds here in the UK. And I just recently bought this <coughs> this little one which is there's a lot of hoo-ha on the internet basically and um, it's small in comparison to the one i already have let's just take this tip away there's virtually if you can see it's virtually you know 30 percent shorter um, it does feel premium but uh, i was quite disappointed that the writing on here uh, uh, the whatever let's just see if you can read this this that that's just started flaking off so i put a little protective tape over it just to make sure that it does that doesn't come off because it was just becoming smudgy as you can see here and it says made in japan now what i'm interested is this this is what i'm concerned about i should say is this is this was 18 19 and nearly 20 21 quid basically um and uh at least they would have you know that's a fair bit of money for a sucker like this basically uh solder suckers um <clears throat> so i would have expected it to be laser edged you know so that doesn't come off but that was very cheap cheap you know when you when you when you look at a premium product there's there's an element of detailing that's involved you know and, and work and quality involved in producing that item and sadly that's where they've lacked as well so so then it sort of raises debate about everything else as well anyway the other difference is this has a silicon silicon tip which you can can be removed and put back on but primarily the use of this solder sucker is to have these attachments on basically now this does it also comes with a replacement sort of so if you wanted to if this gets burnt out you can always chop it and reuse and that's roughly about five centimeter or something like that length so you'll get plenty out of it if you know if you can't find them anymore just just measure the diameters and there's going to be plenty of silicon hoses available and silicon hoses do resist heat most of them that I've, I've i've checked they do resist a fair bit of heat basically so you know i wouldn't worry about that um if you can't source this from the man from this this uh, manufacturer basically or online now what we're going to do today is test in comparison with this and this okay so it avoids you if you can avoid spending that the, the the 20 odd quid then be so now the hack is actually all i've done is is applied a tube a silicon tube this is fairly big this basically off one of my uh large uh length quite a fairly long length i'll show you i mean see this all i've done is i've taken a a little bit off that um and what i'm doing is i'm trying to compare and see if i can get the same results without having to <clears throat> recommend that to buy that solder soccer i know it's small compact but it's costly and i wasn't very impressed with the quality so quality of this uh, writing here as well now to most of you we might turn around and say well does it really matter well of course it does because it says made in japan and you would expect it to be quality quality like for example i got a gift set from from repair outlet look at that okay and they've, they've laser, laser edged this for me it's literally laser edged okay premium quality said set and i couldn't recommend these guys anymore they, they you know do check them out um as i said on my previous video this is the uk version of say i fix it whatever it is basically so good prompt service right right on bang on delivery type you know they're just good the products are pretty you know good quality as well basically right anyway so all i've done is i've chopped it and uh, as i was talking i pushed that in is slide that in now some of you might be wondering what the diameter of this is basically i can give you that that's not a problem just let me get this uh, digital caliper out <clears throat> zero it out okay so the external diameter is is roughly eight mil okay as you can see it's about eight millimeter okay and the internal is i would probably say about five mil i'll round it up to five mil so that's what you need that's the type of tubing you need silicon tubing you need basically um 
<clears throat> I did buy that this this four meter length of tube from Amazon for as little as I think it was about seven eight pound for other purposes, and then I ended up sort of uh, trying it out on this. Um, I know the people are moaning this this uh, might get burnt and all this and that. Plus it's, it's flat, so when you're trying to suck it, it's not sucking it out properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of um, put some solder on this and uh, let's do some testing basically so i'll switch over to the microscope and you'll, you'll get a better idea of what's going on okay so i'm going to apply a bit of solder onto this let's get this uh wire untangled right so let's apply a bit of solder and i'll compare the two and i'll compare it with the silicon tube attached to the cheaper version basically All right, so I'm putting a plenty of solder. I'm quite satisfied that that's, that's enough, basically. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, is I'm going to go with the cheaper, as it is by default, okay, and see what, what happens, basically. Now, what normally, you've got to go in an angle. You can't go top-down view like this, basically, as you're using the soldering tip to melt the solder down. So this is where you'd struggle with this to try and get a clean suction out, basically. So we'll give it a try anyway. Okay, it's not too bad. It's taking it quite a bit off, basically, which is which is pretty smart. Yep, not bad again. Not bad again. Okay, and uh, that was my user error, but uh, it's kind of left a bit on the underneath. But uh, this is a typical example of what I was trying to create that. Because it can flush fit against the hole due to the uh, soldering iron being in on on the way, um, you, you may sort of have you may have to reflow that joint with a bit more solder and and try again. So let's put a bit more solder. Okay, and what I will do this time is I just let me just move this. Why is why is everywhere okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this one, all right? And uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Not sure if it would focus. Yep, I think that's good enough. So watch what happens. Um, obviously, that's that's pressed down. I'm just ready to be engaged. So what I will do here, now I'm going to go over it and press, and it's a clean lift. Um, try one more again here. See what I'm doing? I'm just pressing against the soldered iron and the PCB. Now this does get filled very quickly. Look. So all you got to do is just press the button and pull this out, basically. And that's what you get. That. All right. So let's try the rest of them. Pull it down. Now, don't get me wrong. It works beautifully. Let's do this one. That was causing a bit of a problem. And sometime what I've noticed is this does get jammed. Um, there we go. So, yes, I'm going to give it. 10 out of 10 in terms of taking the, clearing the uh, gap, the sol solder off the PCB, basically. There's no sort of doubt about that. Okay. So how do I replicate this result with the cheaper version? Okay. What I, what I do, what I would do is, let me just come over. What I would do is, this is where this tube comes into place, basically. All I'm going to do is just insert it here. Okay. Let's just reflow these uh, to just apply a bit more solder on these uh, these gaps. A massive amount of solder, basically, in my workshop. These tons of these rolls leaded. 
Now, what I recommend is chopping this in a slight angle. If you can see this, it's in a like a like a chis chisel type of a thing. Let me. So you see this. This is this is done in an angle. The tip, basically, just so that when you when you're sort of applying it, you're getting a flash. So, uh, sorry, a flush fitting basically, and your your soccer could be in an angle like that. So it's not get it's not on it. You know, it's not catching anything on its way, basically, as you sort of want to work around it with it, work with it, basically. Should say. Right, so let's sort of uh, try it with this. Okay, so let's. Here we go. Right, let's try. Sorry, just had a phone call. Let's try again. See, they're working fine. This is doing a beautiful job, and I'm holding it against the uh, silicon tube and the soldering iron tip. Let's try one more time on these two. Yep. And that is a decent achievement, basically. Um, so I'm quite happy to recommend people just to get yourself a silicon hose and <clears throat> just upgrade your cheaper version of, of this and it'll do the jo job just as good as this basically. Okay. Um, yeah, the feel of it is cheap. Weller does sell these and they're about in the 30 odd quid, 30, 40 quid. I'm not prepared to spend. I've got a decent Metcal uh, solder soccer, proper one, but it, because there's no space on the bench, as you can see, absolutely no space on the bench. I just can't leave it anywhere. Look, there's, there's nothing, no space whatsoever. I'm absolutely crammed with with stuff on the bench, machine after machine, testing machine, hot air stations, microscope, the Jovi, um, the room, the workshop. I should say is absolutely jam packed, basically. So sadly, that's on the shelf. As soon as I'm in a bigger place, everything's getting put in its place, and and it'll be done. You know. Every, I'll, I'll be utilizing virtually everything I've got here. Um, these equipments, what I've what I've um, got, have been accumulated over the years of working and buying, you know, just just buying and, and, and using them. And then now I've got no space. I'm just stacking them on the shelf. Um, so sadly, until I don't get a bigger premises, I'm stuck with this. But anyway, coming back onto this, yes, this is this is uh, this is a decent way of turning this into a proper proper. Uh, soccer. Now, in terms of whether did it burn the silicon? Well, I'll show you this now. Let's just uh, look at that. It's not actually burning, burning. Yes, it's a slight, but that will happen to with to this as well. You know, this this as well over the course of time, basically. But it's not burning, burning. Otherwise, the 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 the, the the marking on this will be quite substantial. It will cut. It will just cut through it like a butter, basically. Let's just get rid of these markings because I know that it's not burnt. It's just this is this is just a marking, basically. You got there's a lot of. Let's turn that off. The mic that can go off as well. Yeah, there you go. Look, it's not it's not burnt it basically. It's just there was just a bit of a residue. So these silicon tubes are no no sort of uh, magic basically. They 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 are heat resistance, uh, especially the one I bought off the Amazon. So if, if you're interested, I'll leave a link on the uh, link on my description. Um, and I, as I said, I bought it from Amazon. A four meter length was around about, I think it's about six, seven, eight, nine, cause some under a 10 pound, whatever it was. And I bought it for other purposes, basically. So there you have it. You know, I, I would I would I would recommend sort of upgrading your existing one with with the silicon tube and it'll do the just as good you may be able to pick pick up these for f very very cheap price depending on what the going rate is ebay might sell them for a lot cheaper but what what we're using is just silicon silicon holes that's all that's all it is nothing else no black magic going on here basically in terms of this okay fine it's handy it feels japanese make but very disappointed with the writing here that's peeling off basically um but yeah it's a smaller compact size but because i'm so used to it with 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 this and my hands is a hand is fairly i won't say big but it's it's enough a decent size fist 
um, I prefer to sort of I feel this is more comfortable to hold but then I may get used to it with this little dinky uh, solder suckers but that's all guys hope you enjoy the video take care and uh, I will be reviewing Metcal MX no a Metcal CV uh, soldering station which I've actually bought uh, for decent price so I could not sort of uh, keep away from not buying it uh, that will be reviewed shortly and obviously now I'm, I'm you know I'm better and uh, <clears throat> I will be uploading loads more videos on on the repair side of it stay well stay safe all the best and I'll catch up with you next time bye for now guys take care